Chrome browser, how do we make sure that Quick is enabled or not? So what we need to do is in the address bar, go ahead and type Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Hit enter. This is the page you're going to land on where it tells you about all the flags that are available, right? M124, M125, so on. But before that, I would highly recommend you go ahead and read this warning. If you're an enterprise admin, you should not be using these flags in production. That's what it says. And you can check out all these um, flags in there. To quickly look for a quick, you can just type a quick in the search bar. And there you go. It gives you the experimental quick protocol. And this is what we are interested in. The default value, and there are two more va values, enabled and disabled. When you see it as dis uh, default or enabled, it means it's enabled. When it's disabled, it's disabled. So if I go ahead and, for example, change it to enabled, it's going to ask me to go ahead and relaunch the browser to go ahead and you know uh, apply these settings. You see at the bottom, it says relaunch, right? Otherwise, the settings won't be applied. Now, if I go ahead and change to disable, it's going to be the same story and so on. Now, if I want to go ahead and directly, uh, you know, land uh, with quick at the front, I can just use, for example, the pound symbol here and say enable uh, hyphen quick. And uh, let me just do that again. And there you go. Right. So uh, you can uh, literally use just uh, this in your address bar and directly land here with a quick right in front of you. Right. I want I don't want to make any changes to it. I want to leave it at default and that's it. This is how you make sure you enable disable or check the current status of your quick protocol in your Chrome browser. And we're going to take a look at uh, the uh, Mozilla Firefox browser. Let's jump right into it. So I've launched my Mozilla Firefox browser and you see in the address bar I've typed about colon config. So when you type that in the address bar, this is the page you're going to land on. I mean, you type it and then press enter. And this is the page you're going to land on. It says proceed with caution. Changing advanced configuration preferences can impact Firefox performance or security, right? So whatever you're doing, do it at your, at your own risk. Don't blame me, right? What you need to do is you need to go ahead and click on accept the risk and continue. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So accept the risk and continue. See the search bar right here, right? Search preference name. So I'm going to go ahead and search for network.http.http3. And the one I'm in, uh, interested in is this one, network HTTP HTTP3 enabled. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight it for you. Right? And you see that it says it's true. That means it's enabled. Right, so if I want to go ahead and disable it now, when we talk about this, right, this is um, uh, the uh, quick protocol. Now, HTTP three depends on your quick protocol. Now, if I go ahead and double click on it, it changes to false. If I go ahead and double click again on it, it's going to go ahead and change to true. Now, in order to make sure that you know the changes take effect uh, appropriately and so on, just relaunch the browser yourself and be done with it. Remember, double double clicking on it is going to go ahead and change its value from true to false and then from false to true and so on. That's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions or anything at all, just let me know in the comment section. You want a video on anything specific, uh, I'd be happy to help if I'm able to. Thank you so much. You guys have a great time ahead and thank you for supporting this channel. Goodbye.